On January 21st, we brought you the story of William Mutilangi, the late research and development director at PepsiCo, who died under mysterious circumstances before his body was cremated by people who the family now says are strangers. In the midst of the fight over William's remains, a man of Tanzanian origin claiming to be the rightful heir to William's over 500 million shilling estate, saw that he was William's son and moved into his property. The day that man was arraigned in court following a period of being on the run, according to the police. NTV's Gina Kirori now reports. When the sand in the hourglass of William Mutilangi's life ran out on the 16th of October 2023 in the United States of America, the only thing more mysterious than his death would be the individuals who reported his death to his family. On the 26th of October 2023, William's brother Edward received a call from a man who identified himself as Ndambuki, who informed him that William had passed away. Edward would later be introduced to two other people, all of whom were strangers to the family, but somehow managed to convince the funeral home holding William's remains to cremate the body. One of the men was identified as Bakari Malanda, a Tanzanian national who claimed to be William's son and the rightful heir to William's 500 million shilling estate. Bakari has been in hiding, according to police, since November. That is until today. When Bakari appeared in court for the first time since the incident, after he was arrested on 6th February 2024, police say they are holding Bakari over his possible involvement in William's death and attempting to obtain the property of the deceased by purporting to be his son. <coughs> the courts have granted the police seven days to hold Bakari as investigations continue. This, as police try to trace the lawyer who is reported to have issued Bakari with the power of attorney over William's properties, G.J. Kahudo and Peter Nderito, who drove William to the hospital and later took some of his property in the United States. Ngena Kirori, NTV.